Welcome back everybody, and well, the Multiverse of Madness is officially here, and boy are we excited. And well, it's no secret that the Illuminati appears in the new Doctor Strange film. The Illuminati will see you now. Me, like so many people, are excited to see them in a live action format as the Illuminati is a collective of the Marvel Universe's brightest minds from across the multiverse. However, the collective wasn't introduced until issue number 7 of the New Avengers run written by Brian Michael Bendis and released in July of 2005. Let's take a closer look at where they are first seen in the comics. We start off with flying over New York City we see Iron Man as he receives word from Spider-Woman that one of the raft fugitives popped up on the grid outside of Long Island. She tells him that the rest of the Avengers will head there to handle the situation since Iron Man had a prior commitment. Tony goes offline as he arrives at the Funtime Inc. facility for a meeting of the Illuminati. The other members of the secret organization begin questioning Tony about the reformation of the Avengers. He explains that it happened yesterday and he was coming there to tell them about it. Doctor Strange, Mr. Fantastic, and Professor X are glad to hear the news and support Tony's decision. Namor is upset that the Illuminati were not told of the plans before they happened. Black Bolt? He seems indifferent. Iron Man explains that the new Avengers will be tracking down the fugitives from the raft incident. Doctor Strange mentions that he was attacked by the Crusader outside of his house, so that is one less fugitive that they would have to worry about. Meanwhile, in Long Island, the Wrecker arrives at the house of Ed Gross, a man who has bought his equipment to add to his supervillain costume collection when he was incarcerated. He threatens Mr. Gross's daughter into returning the equipment, which includes his crowbar. He then plans to use the woman as a hostage, but encounters the Avengers as he's leaving the garage. The Wrecker sends Spider-Man, Luke Cage, and Wolverine flying as they attack him in turn leaving Spider-Woman alone to face the criminal. Elsewhere in the Nevada desert, director Maria Hill has pinpointed the location of a Robert Reynolds, the Sentry. Captain America and Iron Man approach him. Sentry tells them to leave and says that the void is coming and no one is safe since he used his powers. Iron Man then brings in Lindy Reynolds, that's Robert's wife who he thought was dead by his own hands, and Paul Jenkins, the comic book writer who apparently created the Sentry. Well folks, that wraps up issue number 7 of the New Avengers, the first time we'd see the group appear in comic books. Their depiction is surprisingly accurate in team and even tone as it's shown in the film. It introduced Reed Richards to the MCU, all bit briefly, and provided a comic accurate Black Bolt suit that kicked all sorts of ass. Anyways, their inclusion in Doctor Strange was vital, and that's why it was my pick. And folks, it's been a comic book minute. Like, share, and comment, and subscribe folks. And as usual, we'll see you on the next one.